My Life Today. Living by principle, not inclination. March the 9th. Purity in this corrupt age. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn decidefully. Psalm 24, verses 3 and 4 The safeguards of our purity must be watchfulness and prayer. We are living in an atmosphere of satanic witchery. The enemy will wave a spell of licentiousness around every soul that is not barricaded by the grace of Christ. Temptations will come. But if we watch against the enemy and maintain the balance of self-control and purity, the seducing spirits will have no influence over us. Those who do nothing to encourage temptation will have strength to withstand it when it comes. If the you do not willfully rush into danger and needlessly place themselves in the way of temptation, if they shun evil influences and vicious society, and they are unavoidably compelled to be in dangerous company, they will have strength of character to stand for the right and to preserve principle and come forth in the strength of the God with their morals untainted. If youth who have been properly educated make God their trust, their moral powers will stand the most powerful tests. God's elect must stand untainted amid the corruptions teeming around them in these last days. The Spirit of God should have perfect control, influencing every action. Those who enter upon active life with firm principles will be prepared to stand unsoiled amid the moral pollutions of their corrupt age. Who, O Lord, shall stand when thou appearest? Only those who have clean hands and a poor heart shall abide in the day of his coming. As you hope to be finally exalted to join the society of sinless angels and to live in an atmosphere where there is not the least taint of sin, seek purity, for nothing else will abide the searching test of the day of God and be received into a poor and holy heaven.